I'm sure you're familiar with the operations of arithmetic, addition, subtraction, multiplication, division. As you know, these operations work on numbers. We also have operations that we can apply to sets, and that's what I want to tell you about right now. The first operation is called the union. And the union of two sets is basically just the set of elements that are in both of the sets. So if we have two sets A and B, then A union B will be the set of elements that are either in A or in B or in both. And to indicate that we have a union, we use this special symbol which looks a little like a U, and we read this as A union B. So, for example, we have two sets, A consisting of 2, 4, 6, 8, and B, 2, 3, 5, 8, and we want to form the union. Okay, so to write the union of these two sets, we simply make a list of all the elements that are in either the one or the other set or in both. So we have two, three, four, five, six, eight. Now notice when I form my union, I do not list an element which is in both of the sets twice. I only list it once. Okay, the next operation I want to tell you about is called the intersection. Basically, the intersection of two sets is the set of elements which are common to both sets. So for an element to be in the intersection, it must be in both sets. We indicate we have an intersection with this symbol here, which is similar to the union symbol, only upside down. Okay, so for example, with the same two sets we had before, A and B, if we want to form the intersection of those two sets, A intersect B, then we look and see which elements are common to both sets, and we see 2 is in both, and 8 is in both, so the intersection of A and B would be simply the set 2, 8. Okay, now it is possible when we look at two sets that they have no element in common, and if that is the case, if their intersection is empty, then we will say that the sets are disjoint. Now remember that a Venn diagram can be used to represent a set graphically. And Venn diagrams are particularly useful to indicate set operations. So for example, if we want to display the union of two sets, we can draw our rectangle. and our ovals inside to represent the two sets. So I have A and B here. And then to represent the union, I'm going to shade shade the diagram
represent my union. Now if I want to represent the intersection, I do something similar. Get my rectangle, my two sets. And now where am I going to shade? Well, I can almost hear you out there saying in the middle. And that's right. The intersection is in, in right there. And we'll continue this discussion in the next video.